I'll tell you a fact that still startles me. Uh, when I was graduating, uh, around 40% of my classmates were women, but out of them, only around 5% uh, pursued a career in science. My father had a workshop. He was into fabrication and I was free to look at all the tools and do whatever I want. What can I make such that it uh, helps maybe my mother in her uh, kitchen? That creativity is what really inspired me. My home, the atmosphere was all about uh, discussing physics, biology, chemistry as we grew up. But I actually fell in love with physics. I hail from a very smaller city of Bihar where uh, people generally don't give so much preference to girls going outside to pursue their career. When I said to my parents, Mujhe bahar jana hai, my relatives said, Ki ladki ko bahar tum. There was a lot of resistance for doing PhD. PhD kiya to fir baad mein aapko aur qualified groom dhoonna padega. Uh, I was supposed to take a decision. What exactly am I going to do? What am I going to study? And that time my father said, close your eyes, just visualize what you would like to do. And I could visualize myself doing something in this area. That really inspired me to take up this field. My mother-in-law, she supported me wholeheartedly. She was extremely proud of me. She would actually introduce me. And this is my daughter-in-law and she has a PhD in this. So my larger role as a scientist, I believe, is that how can I make uh, life simpler for the society? Uh, we have built a, a tool which can help people code in their natural language, which is called Bhamal. Uh, we have uh, done research in uh, weather prediction using the Panchang and uh, proved that it is actually quite useful. Whenever I go in field and a farmer asks me, Dr. Saab, and we are able to give resolution of their problems. So I feel this is the bigger impact which I want to make. My current role, which looks at sustainability, climate change, is a very, very impactful role. Bringing science to the common people is what we are working on and embedding it in every job function. Everything that every person does, does it with such consciousness that environmental, social aspects are integrated in the way they work. Teenagers mostly think that scientist is someone who sits in a laboratory, wear a lab coat, but that's not the case. Science is embedded in your whole life. You have to travel in the world. You have to understand different things. If you are fond of adventures, go for science. Just start the journey because I think that the hardest part to reach anywhere is to start. And just remember that science of today is the technology of tomorrow. Go for it. Science gives you a basic understanding of the world. The physical world, the biological world and the chemical world are in complete stress. And without understanding science, uh, it is very difficult for humanity to take the right actions to get to a better world. The first computers were not machines. The first programmers were not men. They were both women. So women have been at the forefront. They've been pioneers in science. Today we are in the fourth industrial revolution, as they say. Uh, the entire world is shifting. Science is what is opening the doors of future for us. Why won't anyone feel like being a part of this? Mm -hmm.